For the second time today, we have some breaking news here on Philadelphia Eagles. Now, early this morning, I was doing a video talking about how Brian Johnson was elevated from quarterback's coach to offensive coordinator to replace Shane Steichen, who took the Colts head coaching job. And now, the Philadelphia Eagles had their new defensive coordinator to replace Jonathan Gannon. It's going to be Sean Desai, an individual who we've talked about a lot here on the show over the last couple of weeks. He has been named the new defensive coordinator to replace Jonathan Gannon. Now the Philadelphia Eagles as an organization have not confirmed this news as of yet, but it's going to happen any moment now. Bob Condotta spoke with Pete Carroll from the NFL Combine and Pete Carroll confirmed to him that Sean Desai is leaving for Philadelphia. He interviewed in person on Monday, left for Indianapolis on Tuesday. Jeff McLean of the Philadelphia Inquirer had reported that Sean Desai was going to be named the defensive coordinator potentially over the next couple of days, and now it looks as though that news is going to be confirmed by the Eagles organization at any moment now. And going back to when there were some of these rumblings about Jonathan Gannon leaving Philadelphia, a lot of Eagles fans wanted Vic Fangio understandably so, to replace Jonathan Gannon. However, after he chose Miami, the Eagles now hiring a Vic Fangio disciple in Sean Desai. Pretty interesting path for him throughout his coaching career, and he's familiar with the city of Philadelphia. He played college football at Temple, then upon graduating, stayed at Temple from 2006 to 2010 as the defensive and special teams coach. From there, follows Al Golden to Miami, where in 2011 he was named the assistant director of football operations in 2012. Goes back and to the Northeast, running backs coach and special teams coordinator. Then he elevates to the National Football League with the Chicago Bears, where he spent a lot of time. He was in the Windy City from 2013 all the way until 2021. Started off as the defensive quality control coach as he's continued to be a rising star in this industry. 2019-2020, he's the safeties coach with the Bears. In 2021, under Matt Nagy, the final season in that regime, he was the Bears defensive coordinator, where he had had a lot of success. Then in 2022, after the Bears moved on from Matt Nagy and brought in Matt Eberflus, he was the associate head coach under Pete Carroll with the Seattle Seahawks and a defensive assistant. And now at 39 years old, for the second time in his young coaching career, he is set to be a defensive coordinator. Partially why I like this hire is because Desai has a lot of experience. He's been looked at as a wonder kid in the coaching ranks on the defensive side of the football. He's come up under Vic Fangio. He coached last year under Pete Carroll. And in his lone season as the Bears defensive coordinator, he did call plays and had a lot of success with the defensive unit that had far less talent than what the Eagles will have in 2023. His lone season as the Bears DC, Bears finished fourth in pass defense, fourth in total sacks as Robert Quinn went crazy that season, and yards per game, they tallied fifth. How it shakes out for this Eagles organization now is that the birds go with Sean Desai, and now Nick Sirianni has his OC, he has his DC, but they go with Desai over Denard Wilson. But because it's so late in the process, I think that Denard Wilson, who Darius Slay said is worthy of being named a defensive coordinator, who C.J. Gardner-Johnson told me a couple of weeks ago is the reason why he made that seamless transition from slot corner to safety, is that I think that Wilson can still stay on on this Eagles coaching staff as their defensive backs coach, a guy who a lot of DBs really like, and you can continue to develop him. Maybe if Sean Desai gets a head coaching opportunity in the future, then Wilson can slide in as the next Eagles defensive coordinator at some point down the road. So, Earlier, we asked you to grade the hiring and the promotion of Brian Johnson as offensive coordinator. Now, grade the hiring of Sean Desai as the Eagles defensive coordinator. A, B, C, D, or F? Let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section. Again, going back to why I like Desai coming in to Philly here. He called plays for a Bears defense in 2021 that didn't have a lot of talent, but when I watched the Bears that year, Robert Quinn had 18 plus sacks. But outside of that, it's not like they had a ton of talent on that defense, and Khalil Mack was injured quite often. I thought that he was able to elevate what was a pretty average defense and a pretty bad football team in Chicago and he's been considered a rising star for a long time a couple of years ago he was looked at 
as one of these hot commodities to maybe be one of the next young head coaches in this league, work with Pete Carroll, work with Vic Fangio, and for him to be a Vic Fangio disciple, it kind of gives you an insight as to how he sees the game of football. He wants to be aggressive, and he's a very inquisitive mind and is willing to make adjustments along the way. He also takes over a defense that has a lot of talent with the Eagles, as we're about to show you coming up after we give a shout out to our sponsor. And the experience, the fact that he's young and he has some potential, really falls in line with what Nick Sirianni likes from some of his assistant coaches. Throughout this defensive coordinator cycle, everybody he basically interviewed outside of Vance Joseph was under 40 years old or at about 40 years old. So Nick Sirianni's done a good job of grooming some of these coaches, and Sean Desai hopefully is going to be the next one. Two coordinator hires in one day. You know what that means here on Eagles now? Two videos giving you in-depth analysis and a good background into both of these candidates. That's why you subscribe. With this show, can we get to 42,000 subscribers? We have you covered every step of this Eagles offseason, and when breaking news happens, Nobody does it better than us here on Philadelphia Eagles. Now, more on Desai coming up. Still plenty of thoughts to get to, but first, today's show is presented by Fume. We all have bad habits, and we certainly know how hard they can be to kick some of those bad habits. Our sponsor, Fume, it's on a mission to accelerate humanity's breakup from the bad habits that consume far too many of us. Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plants and behavioral science to help you trade out your negative habit for a positive one. I didn't expect much out of Fume, nor did producer Trizzy Trace, but when we got it, the minty sensation really powerful, and it really hits the back of the throat. They have three unique flavors here that are all tasty and feel really good. White cranberry, maple pepper, as well as crisp mint. So three unique flavors in this journey pack. Fume is not a vape. It's a non-electronic device that's designed to transform your negative habits. The easiest way to stop a bad habit is to switch to a positive one. And Fume designed perfectly to do just that. Head to tryfume.com slash chatsports. And when you use the code chatsports, you save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com slash chatsports. Use that code chatsports to save an additional 10% off your order. That link is available in the comment section and in the description of this video. A look at what Sean Desai is walking into. As we've covered here on the show, there's a lot of free agents who are set to hit the market, but even with some of those players inevitably not coming back to this Eagles organization, there's still a lot of talent, and this Eagles defense in 2022 was really, really good under Jonathan Gannon, and hopefully with the side calling plays, they're a little bit more aggressive, they're quicker to make some more adjustments against some premium offenses, top-tier quarterbacks and coaches, which is an area in which Jonathan Gannon really struggled with. Points per game here in 2022 for this Eagles defense, they checked in at fourth. Yards per game, best among all 32 teams in the NFL. Points per play, they ranked fifth. Yards per play, also atop the National Football League. Third down conversion rate, top 10. Fourth down conversion rate, 19th. They can certainly improve there. Hopefully they can with a more aggressive style under Sean Desai. Red zone scoring percentage, 53 and a half. Touchdowns per game, also top 10. And this defense, while they are returning a lot of talent. It is going to look a lot different because not everybody can return. And there are several starters on this Eagles defense who are going to be free agents and a couple of marquee and notable names like a Fletcher Cox, Robert Quinn, who cares if he comes back, but obviously he has ties to Sean Desai. So could he come back on a veteran minimum deal to play under Desai where he had one of the best years of his great career? Brandon Graham, like to see him come back because it just doesn't make sense to not see him in an Eagles uniform. And I just want to poke my eyes out because Brandon Graham is an Eagles all-time legend. Javon Hargrave could get 20 plus million dollars in free agency, like Deron Payne and Quinnen Williams, if they sign contract extensions, Payne was on the fr or got signed on the franchise tag by Washington, Quinnen Williams could make $30 million per year, according to reports. And Javon Hargrave is coming off an 11-sack season. Jason Kelsey, obviously, on the offensive side of the ball. But more defenders here on this list, James Bradbury, going to have an opportunity to cash in in free agency. Kaiser White, I thought that he played pretty good at that linebacker spot on a one-year deal. 
TJ Edwards was one of the highest ranked linebackers according to Pro Football Focus this year. He could get a bag. And Dominican Sue, Linval Joseph, maybe a little bit too old to bring back, but they certainly helped what was a porous Eagles rushing defense. And then you continue to look at this list. C.J. Gardner-Johnson, the ultimate Swiss Army knife for this Eagles defense. According to all the counts that I've heard and some reports out there, Eagles would love to bring him back. C.J. Gardner-Johnson told me he'd love to be back. And Marcus Epps, a starting safety on this Eagles defense. He, too, a 2023 free agent and is going to demand more than what he made in base salary this past year because up to 2022, he had been an NFL journeyman and now he's proven that he can be a starter in this league. So, Brian Johnson promoted, Sean Desai hired as defensive coordinator. A lot of people wanted Denard Wilson, including some players on this Eagles roster. Nick Sirianni goes with a guy who has play calling experience and more general experience and is a Vic Fangio disciple. Grade Sirianni's two hires today, 1 to 100. Comment down below, sound off. We appreciate all of you for watching. And this is why you subscribe for a day like this.